I can't wait to be beaten up by an entirely different fandom this time. So, Marcy's Journal, a release. As a little something extra for the series finale to Amphibia, it more so extends upon the universe of the show rather than being a continuation of it. That is, however, until later on. In the last few pages of Marcy's Journal, there's a quick snippet that, if it means what I think it means, has the strong possibility of ruining Amphibia's ending. Before we get to that though, let's talk about the book itself. Marcy's Journal is sort of a bonus for those who've watched most of Amphibia, specifically seasons 2 and 3. It dives deeper into the lore of the world of Amphibia, talking about what Marcy did during her time in Utopia, all the way up to the page that looks somewhat burnt, that clearly takes place during... Now this is where I expected the book to end and jump to the 10 year time skip, but no. Instead, they have the main character, Ambunjoy, take over the book while she and the planners are stranded on Earth. Which is a detail I should have seen coming because it's stated in an episode that Anne somehow has Marcy's journal, and I just completely forgot about it. Anne keeps the journal up until the final battle against the core. Marcy gets the journal back, moves away, and doesn't write in it for 10 years. Overall, the journal is a really cool look into Amphibia's lore and is certainly an easy recommendation for anyone who's watched the series. It's got really nice details and can be pretty funny when explaining parts of the world. However, that last part, with Marcy coming back to write in 10 years, is where my personal problems come into play. Just before going to the airport to meet up with Sasha, Marcy finds the journal, which I'll be calling Joe from time to time since that's what she named it, in a box of middle school things. She brings Joe with her to California to write down the fun things that happen. The amphibia ending takes place, we all get depressed, and Marcy decides to stay in California for a little while, which is cute. Also, that headcanon of Sasha wanting Marcy to fully move in with her is like really freaking funny. I love that. Keep it up, guys. My problems come in, though, on the final paragraph, where it's revealed that Terry, the scientist, made a breakthrough after all these years, and they want all three of the girls to head to the lab as soon as possible, which tells me that Terry finally got the portal to Amphibia that they only got to slightly open fully functional. It was their biggest contribution to the story. It's hinted that they're going to try to get it working earlier in the book. Terry got it working, 1000%. What this is certainly hinting to is a continuation of Amphibia, whether it's a movie, season 4, spin-off show, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. They just confirmed that Amphibia is likely coming back. Now, that's great, isn't it? More of a great show that only got three seasons? Well, in my opinion, if we're getting a continuation of the show as soon as I believe we are, no. Amphibia's theme throughout the entire show, especially during its finale, is that change is something that has to happen and that you can't hold on to something forever. Now you're probably thinking, but X-Pool, it says right after, but of course of the things you let go, you'd be surprised what makes its way back to you, so why are you upset that an Amphibia continuation could be happening this soon? Well, it's because I don't feel that the show is fully living up to its morals. Amphibia ended on May 4th, 2022. Marcy's Journal was supposed to drop in November, but was delayed to December 13th a seven month gap between a show ending and a show being teased to return. If Amphibia is revived, say, late this year, which is very possible, Steven Universe ended and came back in the same freaking year, that would be a year and a half gap between the hard hitting end of the finale and Anne going back to Sprague being like, sup dude? I'm sorry, but in my opinion, seven months or a year and a half isn't long enough to really have that finale stand on its own. This is officially too much Amphibia in a short span of time. Well, now that you've heard all of that, you must think that I despise the mere thought of Amphibia ever returning, right? No, absolutely not. I'd love to see more Amphibia. Anything with more Marcy is an immediate 10. Besides that chibi universe thing, that was not very good. This show's world is incredibly interesting, and I could see so many more stories being told in it. But just, not right now. If I were Mr. Matt Brawley has no cuts, I'd choose to wait maybe about two or three years before properly announcing or teasing a revival to Amphibia to really have that ending have its time in the sunlight and allow people to soak in what it has to say. Maybe I could spend the entirety of those two to three years brainstorming and designing things for a revival to make sure that it fits into the story as seamlessly as possible. Please, don't get me wrong, I love Amphibia and would love to see a movie, season four, spinoff, whatever, but just... Not yet. In conclusion, Marcy's journal is a great extension to the Amphibia series, but I don't think that the final paragraph should have been there. It somewhat devalues the ending of Amphibia and doesn't make it feel like we ever let go of this universe. Still, there could be a better outcome. Marcy's journal's ending has the possibility to just be a teaser for something very far in the future that we won't hear anything about for a long time, but I'm not holding my breath. Or this could all be a big trolling scheme that Matt Brawley came up with to get people talking. Oh yeah, it's definitely that.